Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Before I get into the intro, I'm just gonna let you know right now, today we are gonna be turning the music off. Do you hear this? This has a lot to do with today's story. For those of you who are new, this may be your first time here on my channel. You may not yet be subscribed. Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O, and for those of you who are already, my people, already subscribed and are just returning for another video, welcome on back. Let's go ahead and get into today's story time, okay? So, like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing, you know, very much no music, very much acapella for this video, because the noise that you hear right now... ...has a lot to do with this story time. Let me tell you how we got here. Today, I wanted to film some videos and this pool party function, just summertime, joyous, laughter, screaming, all of that at the pool has been going on since literally 10 this morning. It is now 7.30 p.m. P.M. Which, it got me so frustrated. I was like, you know what? I am gonna film today and you would think somebody's drowning. I'm going to finally do my move-in horror story. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. I should do it something like clickbaitable. Like, I was homeless. I don't know. You know, no shade to the home. Shout out to the homeless people. Well, I don't know. Is that? Anyway, so let me just tell you how it all started. Three years ago, um, I had moved in with, at the time, one of my close friends. Um, and we got a little two-bedroom place together on the other side of town. He got a new boyfriend, like, and during our, I think it was around the time that we were moving or whatever. Now, me, I was, I was happy for him. I liked the new boyfriend and everything. But I was like, okay, well, it's a good thing that, you know, we just got this lease because he had an issue with, like, taking it slow with his relationships. He always, like, really jumped into things and rushed into things. And he knew that, and that was the issue, whatever. So I was like, well, it's good that we're moving in together because that means that, you know, you'll have to at least wait 12 months before you decide to commit and make a, you know, decision to move in with a motherfucker again because you've done it in the past and it didn't work for you. So, fast forward only four months into us moving into that place together, he breaks the news, oh, me and boyfriend are going to move in together. And I'm like, okay, um, that's cute. However, you have a, you know, legal contractual obligation to this lease that we're in right now so like what's the tea sis long story short he had up and moved out and i was living in this two bedroom place for myself it was cute the other um, room was i turned into a walk-in closet like i loved it whatever end of that lease came i was like okay i'm gonna upgrade my lifestyle i'm gonna live like a caucasian and i'm gonna move to somewhere nice of uh, apartment that i love i want me some stainless steel appliances some granite countertops some real tile flooring modern fixtures you know i was like all the works i wanted that for me for me that's that was the goal insert place where i live now so i found a place you know the price was right i was like okay what i want ideally I don't want to deal with bugs, so I don't want to be on the first floor. Not that I've ever had a hip problem with bugs, but I, in my mind, I feel like that the ground is where bugs come from, so I don't want to be on the ground. So there was a third floor apartment. I was like, cute. I don't mind walking up those stairs. Okay, I used to play volleyball in high school. Okay, these legs work. Okay, like I was like, I don't mind walking up those stairs to get to my apartment. None of that. By the way, I hope you, I hope you guys are getting the full effect of what this mess that is going on outside. So I was like, okay, third, third floor apartment, everything, that's what I want, that's what I need, give it to me. Secondly, it was in the back, I was like, okay, perfect, because once I move, I'm gonna be starting my YouTube journey, all this other stuff. So I wanted to be right in the back, nice and quiet, away from like the main road. I don't wanna hear no sirens. I wanna be away from the pool, as far away as possible, because I don't wanna have to deal with these kids, these children, everything like that. Like, I just wanna be to myself, just up at the top and in the back of the neighborhood. So, move-in day comes. Signed on my lease and everything, signed on down the line, I was ready to move in, whatever. Okay, so, I had hired movers. So, I got up early in the morning, one of my good friends, Susie, she was working grave at the time, so she just got off work that morning, and she was like, well, before I go home and go to sleep, before I have to go to work again tonight, I'm going to come through and help you move or whatever, whatever. My other best friend was there and I had a couple other friends helping me move at the time. They all had obligations later in the day, but they were all willing to come and help me move in the daytime. 
at the time, I was working a grave shift too, so I would go to work at night. This all plays into the story, so remember this. So we got up as soon as the office opened here, which was I think like 9.30 or 10 o'clock, we packed up all of our cars and all of the stuff that like didn't require the moving truck and the mover's help. We were like, we can go ahead and just take that stuff over to the new place by ourselves, you know, and we'll just go over there in the morning drop it off, you'll pick up the keys to your new apartment, we'll fill the apartment with that stuff. That way we can go to work, we can go to sleep, we can go do the things that we have to do, and then the movers can get the big stuff. So it was it was a perfectly executed plan. I had everything, all my ducks were in a row, crossed all my T's, dotted all my I's, you know. Oh, and I called, I called the electricity, um place or whatever. Now, this was a bummer is because I was moving. The day I moved in was on a Sunday. Okay, so I don't know how it is where y'all from, but the power company was not open on a Sunday. So I, I made sure I arranged with the apartment people. I was like, hey, you know, the power people aren't open on a Sunday. They're not going to be able to cut the power on it. They were like, you know, it's no problem. No Tino Shea. Like, we'll keep the power in, in our name for the day and then we'll just prorate you whatever the electricity bill is for that day and then the next day you can go ahead and switch it over to your name. Again, remember this. Remember this conversation, okay? And I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all already know I can't do my eyebrows and talk at the same time. So let me go ahead and carve out my brows, and then I'll be right back to finish the story. So yes, I had all my T's crossed, all my, um, you know, I's dotted, and I had everything that I had to do in order. They said that the power was going to be in their name for the uh, day. All I had to do is switch back over the next day once the power company opens, all that other stuff. I was like, okay, cool, cute, whatever, cool. So yeah, it's the morning of the move now or whatever. We load up our cars, and all my friends, we all drive down here, going to the office to pick up the keys, whoop de whoop whatever. We was all excited and all that. Go up to my apartment. I can't wait. I was geeked. I was like, ooh, y'all, wait till you see my new house. Like, wait till you see where I'm about to move. Like, it is getting very much rich Caucasian woman. Like, I'm, I'm, I love it. Like, I can't wait for you guys to see. We're carrying the stuff upstairs or whatever already from the car because we're ready to, like, you know, drop the shit off so I can get back to the house. My movers were supposed to be coming in, like, a couple hours. Again, the plan was to get to the house, get the keys, go upstairs, drop all the shit out, empty our cars. They were going to hit it and go home, whatever, go to sleep because, like I said, my friend Susie just got off work from graveyard shift whatever and then me and the movers were going to then get the u-haul truck pack that up and drive back to the thing and they were just gonna move in like the couches and all the big stuff and everything like that i got the um the u-haul truck the night before um so that way i didn't have to worry about it in the morning because i already knew what the times the timeline was looking like and everything for the day of. so the u-haul truck at this time was already at my old apartment so yeah we get the keys we're walking upstairs or whatever with the stuff so we open up the door as soon as we step off of the uh, off of the tile in front of the door onto the carpet, bitch, water, water comes up over our shoes. So we're standing there like, what the hell? Like, and, and I'm like, did the place flood? Like, I don't understand. Like, what's going on? So we have everything in like cardboard boxes. I have furniture, like wooden furniture, not no like fake laminate shit, like some real wood ass furniture and everything. And I was like, I can't, I can't put that on this wet ass carpet like what am I going to do I go back to the office and I was just like okay hello hello hi me again sorry to bother you once more however um just went to the apartment carpets are soaking wet miss girl so I don't know what to do like I, I, I need to move in today like I, I have work I'm just starting a new job okay I'm very much in my probation period so I can't call out today I can't postpone this girl I don't have no approved time off like I gotta get this done so honey like what can we do do you guys have some like you know air vacs or I don't know what they, the HVAC or whatever the hell it's called the little thing that little uh, portable thing that can suck up water and dry and I don't know like some swamp coolers something like y'all gotta get these carpets dry he's like well how wet is it and I was like girl we're stepping on carpet and water is seeping into our shoes like it's very wet like wet sponge wet girl like it's she's wet boo she comes up there to the apartment with me to like to check it out because I mean obviously she didn't believe me or whatever and she looks she's like oh my gosh yeah she was like so what this came from well, of course, we shampoo the, sh the carpets before each new tenant moves in or whatever. Um, however, the ceiling fans were supposed to be on to dry the carpets, and we leave the windows open to make sure they're dry for your move-in. So she goes over to turn the ceiling fan. Girl, no power. No power. None. And she's like, oh, that's... Did you get your... I was like, don't... Ah! I was like, don't ask me, did I anything? I spoke to you guys and I told you, because it's Sunday, the power company ain't gonna be able, ain't gonna be open right now to get this power turned on in my name. And you told me 
that I yeah, that it was gonna be on in your name. Y'all were gonna prorate it, do whoop to whoop, whatever the hell you had to do. And the power was supposed to be on when I moved in. So don't turn to me and ask me if I anything. This this is you, sister girl. This was her solution. This was the gag. She was like, okay, well, you can go ahead and just move in your stuff, and then we'll just pay for a carpet cleaning for you. Um, you know, next week. And I was like, ma'am. You think my concern is getting my carpet dirty? I cannot move cardboard boxes that are now going to be soaking wet onto carpet. I cannot move my furniture, wooden furniture, to onto this carpet for it to start molding and crackling and whatever the hell wood does when it gets wet. Like, I'm not, no, I cannot do that. And she's like, okay, well then, your kitchen is tile, the bathroom is tile, you could just move everything into the kitchen. I was like, listen to what that sounds like. You're telling me to pile a sofa, a love seat, an armchair, mattress and beds, a box spring, two dressers. You're telling me to move all my furniture into a kitchen? Are you are you telling me that that's going to fit into a kitchen? Thank you, but no thank you. That's, that's not going to work. That's not going to happen right now. So is there any other apartment that is ready available right now. She's like, no, no, I'm sorry. This is the only one that we have available today. We got to do something because I don't understand. Like, this isn't my fault. I did everything that I needed to do to be prepared to move in today. And I would just expect that you and all of the leasing staff and leasing management company, everybody here would have at least done their part to make sure that this apartment was moving ready. I don't understand how you can have an apartment, somebody scheduled to move in to one of these units today and not one person decided to come in and do a walkthrough just to make sure shit was right. Make sure the carpets were dry, hell. Make sure the power's turned on. Man, like nobody decided to do any of this. So this was me trying to come up with solutions. I was like, okay, well, you said you don't have any other apartments ready. Listen, I have work tonight. My movers are going to be arriving to my home, my other house, anytime now. And these people gotta go. We have a bunch of stuff loaded in the car because we were expecting to get here and start to be able to move. I expected the apartment to be moving ready, Miss Thing. So I was like, listen, so can we at least get one of these garages because I know that you guys rent out garages to the tenants or whatever for the time being whether it's until the carpet drives tomorrow or if you guys are able to drive today can we at least take this stuff out of the cars and just store it in a garage and I can just worry about moving it later like right now I'm not even concerned with moving it my main concern is letting my friends go home and go to sleep she just worked a 10 hour shift overnight and came straight here to help me move you know my friends also have jobs that they need to get to this afternoon and I have movers that I need to get back home to so I can't like, we, the stuff is already here. I can't take it back to my house. I'm moving out of there today, sweetheart. So can I at least get a garage? She was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, you can't get a garage unless you were going to pay monthly for it on your lease. And I was like, okay, I understand that. I understand how all this works. Trust me, I do. Believe you me. I get it. However, I think that this is an, I don't even know the word, an extenuating circumstance. Hope I said that right. Especially because, again, it's not my fault. I did nothing wrong, this is where you guys come in with some service recovery because you dropped the ball and let me, I'm not even asking to have it for a whole month, a week, girl, I said overnight just so I can put my stuff in it because you didn't make sure my carpets were dry when it was time for me to move in. She's like, yeah, no, we can't do that, whatever, whatever. And I was just like, okay, girl, at this point, can I just have a carport, like a covered parking spot? Mind you, this, uh, we don't get, covered, covered parking isn't included here. We have to park in, like, the open parking lots, and if you want a covered spot, you also have to pay for that. Which, I knew I was mo moving to Caucasia, so I knew that that's how they did things over here. Like, I, I just expected it. So I was like, okay, if you're not even willing to give me a garage, can you at least tell me which one of these parking spots is available? Just so I can literally unload everything that we have from these cars. There's three vehicles. I will unload all of my furniture, my clothes, everything into a parking spot on the asphalt, honey, just so I can send them home. I feel bad for having them. We were literally supposed to be in and out, drop this shit off, and they were going to go home. And now I feel bad. I got these people sitting here waiting here, so can I at least do a parking spot? She was like, oh, no, sorry. Parking spots are only with the least, same as the garage, da, da, da. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. Is there a manager that I can speak to? Like, please, let me, like, there gotta be somebody that I can talk to, somebody that is gonna empathize with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
the apartment manager is off on weekend. She's not going to be in until tomorrow. Okay. No. You can't tell me that you sit here and manage a property where anything can happen at any moment and there's no way for you to contact. I'm not saying that she got to drive her lazy ass up here, you know, and get, come into her office or anything like that. I'm saying can you speak to her to see if she can override your bald-headed ass and let me have at least a parking spot to put my stuff in while I figure out what I'm going to do next. That's all I'm asking. That's it. I'm not, I, literally, that's it. That's all I'm asking. Can you at least do that? She's like, mm, I can't really contact her on my date, on her day off, do, 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 whatever, whatever. But I can send her a text and see whatever she, what she says, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. So we're sitting in the office. I'm like, stressed. I'm flabbergasted. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't expect this to happen. I don't know what's going on. Like, I, don't, I just don't know. So my friends are like, you know, they're upset too because they're like, why is she acting like this? Like, she literally does not want to help you. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that not your job? Literally, you are the person in, in charge of this apartment complex, especially because the manager is not here today. So you're in charge. You're responsible for making sure that the tenants are taken care of, girl. And so we're sitting there in the office. I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for her to get back. I'm like, did she say, did you hear anything back? Oh, nothing back yet. Nothing back yet. Girl, call her. Yep, you're waiting for a text message. Meanwhile, I'm sitting out here homeless. Call her. Mm, I can't call her on her day off. I was like, okay, you don't want to help me. All right, all right, fine. We'll wait for the text. So we're sitting there. We're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, and then one of my friends is looking at the, my, the apartment website. And she was just like, okay, um, Miss Thing, you said that there were no other apartments that are available to move into since this one isn't ready. However, on your website, it shows that you have two vacant units, Miss Girl, that say they are ready now. Today day, girl. So, that was one. Where's the other one? She's like, oh, well, the other one, I just, I wouldn't be, I don't have uh, authority to, da -da. and I was like, okay, so first of all, you lied, because you said that there was nothing, but you knew that there was one. Whether you have the authority, authority to give it to me or not, girl, I asked you if there was anything else. Even if I had to sign another lease, how you know I wasn't good for it, and I couldn't afford two apartments, but that's neither here nor there. But I was just like, okay, but why can't we have that apartment? Like, it, she's like, oh, well, it's one of our show apartments, so it hasn't been clean. Well, it's not that it hasn't been clean. It's, like, vacant. Nobody has lived there, but they just, like, you know, when people come to look at the floor plan, they go into that one. She's like, so the carpets are dirty, da 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 I was like, okay, but you already told me that you were going to give me a free carpet cleaning for the other one. So you could just give me a free carpet cleaning for this one. Like, girl, I need to move. My movers are going to be coming at any time. Like, what I, I understand you don't get the sense of urgency because it's not you. But imagine yourself in this situation. Help me out. Oh, and I'm so sorry. That was her solution after the whole no to the garage, no to the carport. She was like, well, she was like, it's okay. We can just amend your, um, your lease and you can just go ahead and move in tomorrow. Once again, that's cute, but we're here today. My friends are off and available to help me move today. We have everything in the car sitting here right now. I have movers that I have paid for today. I rented my U-Haul truck already for it to be at my house today. I have a job and I only have time to move today. So Miss Girl, we're not moving in tomorrow. Are you going to pay my movers to come back tomorrow? No. So again, we can't, I'm sorry, nice suggestion, nice try, but no, we have to move today. This is the contract, the legally binding documents that we signed said that you were gonna have my apartment ready on this date, not tomorrow. So anyways, yeah, so I managed, I asked, told her, asked the manager if I can at least move into one of the other apartments or whatever, whatever. So she's like, yeah, the manager said that's okay. Uh, we can go ahead and get you moved into the other apartment. And so, we go and look at the other apartment, i.e. the one I'm in right now. Mind you, on the third floor, it had a balcony, a, a huge balcony that went from like living room to bedroom. Like it was a huge balcony over the whole side of the thing. Again, third floor, back area, secluded, everything I asked for. She showed me this apartment. She got the nerve to try to tell me that this apartment, the rent monthly, was more than that one over there. Houseway. Because the square footage is smaller because it doesn't have the, the balcony. I don't even know if that goes into square footage, but I believe it does. It doesn't have a balcony. I'm in the first floor. I'm like blocked in by other apartments. So my signal bad. I'm looking at my phone right now. I don't got no bars, girl. But it's noisy ass pool. Mind you, I moved in the summertime. So all of this was still going on at that very moment. So I was like, this is literally 
the opposite of everything that I requested for you. When I came into office here on the first day, I specifically asked, you know, upper floor, away from pool, back apartment, balcony. That's it. This is none of that. And you're going to tell me that I have to pay more because y'all fucked my shit up? I think not. Absolutely not. And she's like, well, I can talk to the manager, whatever, whatever, and we can see. I don't, I don't think that she's going to do it, but we'll see if she can honor the same rate. I was like, okay, go ahead and see, whatever. We talk to the manager, the manager says that we can go ahead and honor this unit for the same, uh, for the same rent, which she better, but whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. So she's like, okay, so we just got to go back to the office, um, draft up the new lease paperwork. And then once you sign the lease, then, you know, it's yours. You can go ahead and start moving your stuff into it. So I'm like, okay, perfect. Chop, chop. Like, let's go. Let's go. Like, I'm on, I'm on a time crunch now. At this point, at least an hour has gone by, an hour and a half. And I was like, my movers are going to be arriving, like, soon. So can we just get on with the show? Like, let's, let's just do what we got to do. So we get to the office. She's like, okay, I'm just going to need the keys back for that apartment that we, the wet one. And so I'm looking around and I was just like, oh shit, I don't, I don't know where the keys were. I think, I, I thought I gave them back to you, like, I don't know. She's like, nope, you didn't, I don't have them. And I was like, okay, well, we'll find the keys or shit, I, I'll pay to get the locks changed if you don't trust me, like, whatever the case is. I'm in a rush, girl, like, come on. She's like, I'm sorry, we can't, I can't um, issue you keys to another apartment um, if you still have the keys for the other one. And I was like, I don't know where they are. I don't know. Like, and it could have fell out of my pocket on, I don't know. She's like, well, I can't, I can't help you. You need to return the keys before we can do anything else. So now I'm like fuming. Now I'm retracing my steps because we walked from the office to the apartment. So I'm walking through the parking lot, walking through the dirt, through the bushes, trying to see if that fell out, walking up and down the stairs. Obviously the apartment's locked, so they're not in the apartment. And so at this time, okay, to add everything, to, uh, to amp this up just a little bit more, the movers have arrived. The movers are at my old apartment, and they're calling me at this time. And they're like, hey, you know, we're here. What apartment is it? You know, we're, we're ready to get working. And I'm like, y'all, I'm clear on the other side of town. I'm at least 30 minutes away. I'm so sorry. Like, whatever. They're like, do you want to reschedule? And I was like, well, no, we're going to be moving today. We are we are still moving today. Very much that. However, I have to, there's just a lot of going on with this leasing office, whatever, what have you. So it is, we're going to be delayed. Like, give me at least, like, another 30 minutes, and then I'll be on my way back over there so I can, like, you know, let you guys in, and you can at least start loading up the truck or whatever. So I was like, okay, my friend Susie, again, the one who just got off work from the grave shift or whatever, I was like, okay, well, Susie, can you please, and I'm so, so, so sorry for having you do this because I know it's out the way, it's nowhere near where you live or where you were going to go or anything like that, but can you just go back to my apartment, meet the movers, open the door and let them in and just let them start loading, oh, and here are the keys to the U-Haul, give them, give them that and let them start loading up the U-Haul truck, everything that's in your car, just have them take it out your car and put it in the truck, I'm so sorry for all of this, but please go home, I want you to get some sleep, so she was like, yeah, that's fine, so she goes back to my, she was on the way back to my house when the whole key thing went down, so I was like, Freak, maybe the keys are in Susie's car. So I call Susie. I'm like, Susie, turn around right now. I think I left the new apartment keys in your car, and this hoe ain't gonna let me get the keys to the new apartment until you give me the until we get the keys back. So now she drives all the way back to the new apartment. We return the keys, whatever. So she signs up, she drives up the lease. We're signing the lease or whatever. Susie called me. She's like, Yeah, I'm at the apartment. I let them in, they're loading stuff in the, the truck. I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm signing the lease. I should be there in like 30 minutes. Like it's all it's it's all gravy. My other friends are sitting there, they're like furious and everything and I just am so embarrassed and I feel so bad so we're like signing the lease and whatnot and in this new apartment because it was like a, a model apartment it already had the electricity in their name so we didn't have to worry about getting electricity turned on or anything like that thank god and so she's like okay so now um you we just need your proof of renter's insurance and I was like okay well can't we like do that tomorrow girl like I'm you see everything that I'm going through right now like can we just do that tomorrow She's like, oh no, um, before you, before your lease is official or before we can approve your lease or whatever she said, you have to have proof, you have to have rentals insurance, which um, again, my renters insurance was on the initial apartment that I was supposed to be moving into today, a bit, a starting today. Like that was the, the day, the terms of my renters insurance. So I was like, okay, whatever. I see you just want to make me jump through hoops. I'm going to play by your rules, whatever. So I call, I'm trying to call up my, um, uh, my insurance or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday. They're not open. They're only open Monday through Friday. 
So I was just like, they're not open on weekends. Like, they're not open on Sundays, so there's no way that I can get the uh, renter's insurance or whatever. And so she was like, well, we can't give you an apartment without insurance. Like, you have to have insurance in order to move into an apartment. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And so at this point, I was like, I, I felt defeated. What I mean, what can I do? I can't force the insurance company to open. She's clearly not trying to help me and she's not gonna let me move into this apartment. I mean, whether that's the law or whatever, I don't know, but let's just say it is, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't force her to do anything. The manager refuses to speak to me because um, she's it's her day off or whatever. Like, there's literally nothing that I can do. So at this point, I'm, I, I broke down. I just walked outside the office. She was just sitting there and she just had a very much like, mm. Sorry, you need rooms insurance. So at this point, I just walked outside the office. I believe I called my dad, and I was like in tears. I was in tears because at this point, at least an hour had gone by. I told Susie like 30 minutes. It's been another hour. They're calling. The movers are calling again. They're like, hey, okay, the truck is packed. Like, we're ready to come to you, whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, well, can you at least like, since everything's in the truck, you guys can just drive the truck on over here. I'll give you the address. And they're like, oh, sorry, we can't like, you know, for a liability thing, we can't drive the truck because, you know, the insurance, we don't have insurance or whatever the case might be. But, you know, it was my truck. I was the only one that was registered to operate the vehicle and for their business and moving company or whatever, they can only operate their own. And I only had my truck that I rented from U-Haul, so they couldn't even drive the truck. So I had to be the one to drive the truck, which was on the other side of town. And I don't have an apartment to move in. I'm still homeless at this point. And so it's getting hella late. I was like in tears outside like crying and I was like I don't know what to do I'm just gonna have to cancel everything like I just want to cancel everything which they're probably not even gonna let me do it they'll probably have to make me break my lease since she doesn't want to do anything for me um, but I already signed my lease and pay my deposit like I can't what can I can't do anything by the way it sounds like um sounds like everybody that left the pool I think the party's over so I'll go ahead and add some music back in here. Play the music. The leasing office lady came out into the parking lot where I was sitting down crying. And she's like, we have our own rental insurance that you can basically do rental insurance through us. They're open seven days a week, um, whatever the hours were, whatever. And I was just like, like I was happy because you finally came up with a solution. However, you knew that you guys had renter's insurance an hour ago. I was pissed. Knowing that if renter's insurance was my was my problem, you had a solution and you weren't gonna say anything. Are you f serious? Like I was so upset, and so I was like in tears. I was like, "That's fine. Like do whatever you gotta do. Like I don't I don't care. Like that's fine. I don't I don't know what it costs. I don't, whatever it entails, sign me the fuck up, bitch. Get me some insurance on this apartment so I can move in. Like at this point, it's not even about me. I've inconvenienced so many people at this point. All of my friends who were helping me move, the damn movers that are now fully my truck is packed and loaded. They're all just sitting there. My friend Susie is still there at my house, just sitting there out there with them because she don't want to leave them alone and with my shit. Remember at this point, the sun was starting to set. So maybe we started the move later in the day. Maybe like we started, you know what? So what happened, the timeline is messed up. We initially went there at 10. When I first like went to them and toured the apartment and everything before I decided I was gonna move in there, they told me like, you know, all the rent was payable, completely payable online, everything like that. And so she said my first month's rent was due at on the day of, of my move-in. So with that information, when I went there at 10 in the morning to get my keys the first time, I was fully prepared to just pay my rent online. But she was like, no, you're actually, your first month's rent has to be paid through cashier's check only. And I was like, when the fuck are you going to tell me that? You literally told me that rent could be paid online. So why would I think the first month's rent is any different from the second month's rent? Like it's the se like, what? And so that postponed everything. And you wanna know why it postponed? Oh my God, I can't believe I left this part out. Because, so then I'm like, okay, no tea, no shade, no problem. Like, let me go to the ATM. Let me just pull out all of this rent money. Uh, mm, no, sis, you thought. Because there is such thing as a withdrawal limit. I wasn't physically able to take out the amount of money that was required of me to go to, to get a, to purchase a cashier's check with. Bruh, that was the first, oh my God. So that was the first thing that really just like fucked up the whole 
everything. And so that pushed the timeline back some hours. So I wasn't able to withdraw enough money. I can only get out literally like half or like a third of it. And then I had some that was like stashed already in cash, like in my room. So I withdrew my half and then I took what I had left. And I had, I literally had to ask my friend how embarrassing. I was like, can you give me half of my rent for this month? And tomorrow, as soon as the bank opens, I'll go with, because my withdrawal limit will be reset tomorrow and I'll withdraw that money and pay you back like please whatever which it wasn't a no problem she gave me the money or whatever but still that was what was okay so yeah so the time with that being said the timeline was pushed back so I don't think we started the move or whatever until like 12 and I, I had texted the movers and told them it was gonna be later so I think I told them to come around like 2 o'clock so anyway so this was the timeline which again I felt bad for Susie because she just got off work working grave and now it's 2 in the afternoon and she still ain't been to sleep Oh my god. It probably wasn't until like 5 30, 6 o'clock that we finally got to this got the second apartment lease thing and this whole stuff with the insurance had went down. Sorry y'all, I had to go ahead and clear that up. So she finally um you know she gave me the, the other insurance or whatever, signed me up or whatever, and I was like, okay, cool, fine, thank you, whatever. Grab the keys to my new apartment or whatever. Um to this this apartment right here, which I was pissed again by the pool, everything that I didn't want, carpet's dirty, all of that shit. Unloaded my the cars that we had. I sent them on their way. They unloaded the cars. I was like, thank you guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. I got to get back to my old apartment so I can send Susie home and drive this truck back over here. So with that being said, now it's only one of me. I'm driving back. I drove back to my old apartment. I obviously had to. I can't drive my car and the U-Haul truck together. So I sent Susie home. Again, thank you for saying sorry for the inconvenience, all that other stuff. Susie went home, went to bed, girl. Thank you, Susie. Shout out to you for this day. Which, mind you, I think I left my um, sunglasses in your car that day uh, three years ago. And I think you got them, but... I, I digress. We'll just take that as payment. I never I never asked you for them, but I, I know you got my glasses. But anyways, um, so I went back over there. You know, I was apologizing to the movers. I was like, you know, I'm so sorry, whatever, whatever. They were like, you know, it's no problem. However, we are going to have to charge you for the overage of time. I was like, you know, at this point, I don't care. I don't care. I just need to hurry up and get moved in because I still have to go to work tonight. So we need to get this done. So I got in a U-Haul. They just followed me in the U-Haul all the way back to my new apartment, which now it's like 6 p.m. Traffic was atrocious. So the drive was, oh my God, it took so long. So I think it took like an hour to get here. So now it's going on seven. I think I had to go to work at nine that night. It was like nine or 10, it was an overnight shift. So we finally got to the apartment and while I wanted to, the whole point of the movers was so I can just literally kick back and tell them, put that over there, sit that over there. Like, you know, I didn't want to have to move. I didn't want to have to lift the finger girl. That's why I got the movers. But I would, but because we were pressed for time, it was me and the movers help. Like I was help, I was picking up couches and shit with them and I was helping them move all this shit into the apartment because I had to go to work and I needed this stuff to be done. So yeah, we got everything moved. I had to pay them extra because of um, how long it took and all that other stuff. And so now I had to go and drop the U-Haul back off, which was on the other side of town by my old apartment. Now that was the other thing. So I drive the U-Haul all the way back there and drop it off at the U-Haul place. However, my car is still parked at my old apartment. How am I gonna, you know, and I've already spent all of this money on the move and the, the new insurance de uh, deposit or whatever the hell, and I had to pay the movers extra, so I didn't want to, like, pay for a lift or whatever, and all my friends had went home, or initially the plan was, you know, I would drop the U-Haul off, one of my friends was going to be with me, and they would just drive me back to my car, and then we'll hop in the car and drive the car to the new apartment. Mind you, I still had to clean the new apartment because when I got off work the next day, I had to go back there so they can do the final walkthrough so they can give me my refundable deposit back. But I'm not even going to get into that. So, drop the U-Haul off. It's nighttime now. I'm walking because I have no car. My car's parked at the apartment. I'm walking back to my old apartment to go back to my car. Like, I literally had to walk from the U-Haul place to my apartment. And so, I was just walking and I was in tears just on the sidewalk walking. I felt so defeated. Hopped in my car and drove all the way back across town to this now new apartment. And I had to, you know, get ready for work. I couldn't even rearrange stuff. I couldn't unpack a box. I had to scramble to find my clothes and where my shoes were. Cause the movers just, I literally just had them come in and throw stuff in the house at this point. 
it was it was just a whole mess and then that was another thing like with the movers i wanted to be able to tell them like you know oh can you put my couch here can you put my dresser here they were gonna assemble my bed for me like they were gonna do everything but with us being crunched for time none of that got done so i had to do it by myself which i'm not even complaining about because you know i'm more than capable of doing that stuff but it was just this just the experience like i was supposed to i wanted this to be like a really like I wanted to be bougie, okay? I just wanted to be bad and bougie for a day. Is that is that so bad? So anyways, um, after living there or whatever for like a couple of days, I went to the manager's office and she was she was so sweet. I will give her that. She was so sweet. And I straight up told her. I was like, this girl that you got working in the office is a horrible fill-in, stand-in, representation spokesperson for you because she made you seem so cold and heartless she made it sound like you literally did not give a fuck and that you did not want to help me whatsoever which could have very well been the case if she could just be fronting to my face right now but i was like you're so nice and i appreciate you i was like i'm not even looking for anything i just really need you to understand and hear what i went through moving into your property and so like we sat down and we talked and you know she was a very apologetic of everything and she was like you know wishing that she could have been there and wishing that the girl in the office would have uh relayed the situation accurately to her so she would have known the severity of the situation y'all me see my hair slick back because <laughs> i just had my oh well you saw i had my little my little uh my little hat on she's like so i mean ultimately you know it's up to you if you wanted to i understand like you know you don't feel comfortable living here and all this other stuff because i expressed to her i was like at this point like i don't even want to live here i feel like you guys practically bullied me into a lesser than apartment whatever and she was like you know what what you want you know that new apartment is still vacant obviously so if you want you can move into that one still and i was just like and are you gonna pay my movers like i'm not moving all of that stuff to the third floor now by myself like it's already settled in she's like okay well if you'd like like i i'd be okay with making an exception and we can cancel your lease you can go ahead and break the lease with no no additional you know fee or anything if you wanted to and i was just like I'm already here like thank you but I'm already here I already live here like it is what it is whatever and like to this day when I go into the leasing office them girls be so mean to me as if I did something to them and I know you're thinking like you know why do you still live there and all that other stuff and I just and I thought about it I was like you know what after this lease I'm getting the fuck up out of here like I don't want to be nowhere where I'm not wanted it's been like three years the most they do is just give me attitude or act like they don't know who I am when I walk up in the office the main girl that I was dealing with on my move-in day she no longer works here I don't know if hopefully they fire her stupid ass but she no longer works here and the other girl she she's whatever i barely see her they hired some like new people in there so i'll deal with the new people before i deal with them ultimately i do love my neighborhood though like it's very modern it's very classy it's cute like i love where i live i love my apartment i even like like our maintenance staff like the maintenance men maintenance men or whatever like they're really nice i'll have conversations with them in the parking lot and everything when i see them out or when they come over they're just like you know real personable real cool people so like i don't hate everything about this place i love the place that's another reason why i haven't moved is because it just sucks that you know the service is was that because I really do like living here you know all right y'all well that is the end of this story time thank you all so much for watching and joining me for another video I know this video is probably gonna be long because I am very much long-winded when it comes to telling a story so thank you for um, sticking through it if you are here to the end of the video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below on what you would like to see here on this channel more importantly make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this tyler with the no goodness and i will catch you all on my next video peace yeah, it's just a little bronzer moment with a shimmer, no liner or lashes, just a little bit of scara. Okay, nude lip with a gloss. Now this is a look with the slick back, giving real mystique tease from uh, what's it called? From X Men Girl. Yes.